was pretty good. You said Jessica couldn't go. Yeah, that, that was then... that was a, the fucking meat of the story, but it was pretty good. It was. I'll be honest, oh. with you, like I think Bert's great. Who, who who'd you get last minute? Who, who else went with you? Uh, my buddy B Corey Bissonette, the guy he the guy that plays guitar in the Mongoose Files song. Oh, dope. he's gonna be. I was inviting my two guitarist no else, friends. No one else would take the. You were the no only other guy I called. I called three people or two people. So, yeah. If I'd been like an hour earlier, I would have kicked this person out of the studio. I wish. I, I wish you would have called me. I got an emergency. A fucking hour early because it would have been. Per- I was in my ginch, like eating chicken fingers, being like, "Oh fuck, gotta go." Is it? Was he good? Because I was like, when I've seen his. Not a big fan, like, to be honest with yeah. you. I mean, I, I, I like him. I'm I not. like a lot of the content that he puts out with a lot of other people. Like Tom Segura is in my top five. Tom Zagura fucking kills me. Oh, Zagura is great. And I think they're and then you great sit together. This guy who's just a fucking giggler, right? Well, beside him. I think. Th- <laughs> yeah, I find he kind of panders a little bit too much for me. But he's got. He's, that's, 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 that was Burt Kreischer. Yeah, yeah that's, that's not terrible. That's my Burt Kreischer. I mean, but like, sure. I, I think I could put up with it. I put up with you. You put out a lot of Burt Kreischer vibes. You guys are very similar. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I like. It's, hey, it's not my favorite. I didn't. There was no guttural laughing, but there was some like, ah, oh, that's pretty good, you know? Enjoy was it. There was no Tony Hinchcliffe? No, Tony Hinchcliffe fucking kills. Tony Dude, Hinchcliffe. That guy fucking kills, man. Yeah. But the, like him, when, that, when he's with Segura, like when they do Two Bears, One Cave, and that type of stuff, it's good. Funny. Oh, yeah. Because Segura just torches them, and yeah. it's fucking great. Like their little bit yeah, where fucking uh, Burt Kreischer shows up with that little fucking canteen full of Kool-Aid. <laughs> Have you seen that? No, I haven't. I haven't watched a lot of that. Like, to a lot of that that show, one clip, I <clears throat> tears in my eyes, and I've seen it probably about fourteen times. He, yeah, he comes There's in. No and way he, goes, he drinks all that. Kool-Aid. He's got a six. Yeah, you dancing ounce, it. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. like a yeti, like a yeti yeah. mug. I'm fucking right? cool. Like yeti yeti cool. And he goes. I mean, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, it's like I'm sure it's a bit, but I'm like, there's no. It way doesn't no way matter though. It was a good bit, man. Like you'd be fucking. Well, he takes a he takes a zelly. So Burt Kreischer takes a sip, and he goes, "Ah, I fucking love Kool Aid." And Tom Segura's like, like laughs, and he's like, "Hey, man, can I have a sip?" And then he goes, yeah. And then he goes and takes a sip, and it, he like almost spits. It. He's like, "This is, this is, this is all Kool Aid." He goes, cool. "Yeah, I love it." He's like, "I thought you were joking." <laughs> he's like, "No, it's great. Isn't it good?" And he's Drink like, "Just like every day." And I'm like, Here. "He's like, you drink a 64 ounce Kool Aid every day." <laughs> he's like, "This is so much sugar," and he's like dying laughing, and he's like, "People think you're healthy." And you're obviously not. People think isn't he admittedly on healthy? like a bunch of heart pills? He's on like a bunch of heart but medicine. Yeah, the- <laughs> that's what I say. I'm sure it's a bit, but it's like yeah, it's funny. It's just like a I just think of a 64 but ounces he, of Kool Aid. Like, guy's oh, got the fuck. biggest cheeseburger <laughs> locker in comedy. He's not healthy. Oh yeah, he's proud of it. He's got the yeah. Mickey Mantle gene. Well, he's got to keep it. He's got to, that's part of his the character. Like, if he loses it, hey, listen, it's like oddly enough too. I will admit, Braden has the Mickey Mantle gene as well. Braden shares that with Bird Yeah, Kreischer. I'm good at everything. It's yeah, like it's, I'm. I'm. Uh, listen, it's a, it's a Braden and Bra- I'm not great at anything. Braden and Bird everything. are very similar in a lot of ways, more than just fucking waist circumference. Like, there's a lot of yeah. fucking similar shit going on. I am pushing quite a gut right now. It's well, it's the sympathy weight, right? Is that is that what they call it? Well, on yeah, Urban yeah. Dictionary, Mick, Mick, Mickey Mantle gene is a gene that allows bloated, out of shape men to be able to drink alcohol in excess on a daily basis while still being able to jog marathons. That's, and avoid his family. That's Braden. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not quite there yet, buddy. <laughs> and he the, he's got that trailer. Like, I mean, I, listen, like, like, that's how we were able to scam. We, we won a fucking wiffle ball tournament because of that. Nobody wanted to let yeah. me and Braden be on sure. the same team because they didn't know. And I'm like, listen, here's a picture of him. you've got nothing to worry about. And everybody's like, yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> and then they let us do we went Probably we were the last really picks good. in the draft because Braden was attached to me. I went from being a fucking hot commodity yeah. to fucking plummeting down the draft board. We get drafted, yeah. bingo bango bongo, Braden's the fucking MVP. I won the MVP of the tournament. Mm-hmm. Strike to I was K and everyone. I honestly needed Tommy John surgery after that, though. I was fucking throwing <laughs> whiffs left and right. Yeah, it was worth it though. Hard. I remember I honestly, I remember throwing the ball, like throwing the wiffle ball, and like that one guy from the BC Lions was like, "Good luck keeping not, that up." He's all not day. from the BC Lions, and honestly, the Alouettes, Alouettes, whatever. Yeah. But I K'd him, and he was like, "It was like the f- second game," and honestly, I was feeling fatigued, and I my arm was sore. I didn't think I'd be able to keep it up. But the second he did said that, I was like, "Well, 
All right, big boy. Yeah, he's a prick. Sure. He's a uh, I will. Prick. I was like, my arm was like hanging like three three inches lower than my other one. <laughs> By the end of the day, pulled just, your whole just shoulder big, out of the big socket. Big old noodle arm. Just whipping the ball. You got to whip your whole body to get it together. <laughs> yeah. It worked, though. Hey. Oh, yeah. I'd love to hey, play again. you guys play pickleball? I'd love to fucking do that oh, tournament dude. again. Yeah, Already got I our know. fucking... T- this- buddy, listen. We're the, the 101.1 Silk FM Soft Rockers. Yeah. Get us fucking t-shirts yeah. made, everything. What a what yeah. silk FM. Yeah, buddy. Have you listened to it before? John Tesh can be our manager. No. That's I just did. the general. That's just the general. <laughs> That's silk. Uh, That's your soft jazz fucking. Yeah. Jazz. Oh, you play, have Dan. you played pickleball? We try to recruit him. He was too good yeah. for it. <clears throat> no, no, pickleball, not whiffle ball. Pickleball. Oh, some guys in my, one guy in my work is he plays pickleball. He said he was talking to play. Pickleball is like giant ping pong, right? But not tennis? Yeah, kind of. I think so, yeah. Oh, I thought uh, it was like no, small tennis. Played. It's more like ping pong, I think, than tennis. Yeah. It's you like... Let a... <laughs> you let have a bounce first or I thought if yeah. there was anyone who I knew who had played pickleball, it'd be you. <laughs> well, That's I not agree. a dig. I just thought you're, yeah, the you're guy a invited well-rounded me to come athlete. Play pickleball. You play all yeah, sorts of sports. I don't play any racket sports, though. No, but I just thought if anyone... If I had to pick one of the four of us... I guarantee I'd smash the shit out of pickleball. Yeah, I got pretty good I'm at ping gonna pong get, in college. I'm More. gonna get into it this summer. Yeah, that's great, man. That's gonna be my. I'm summer gonna go sport. play the local seniors club down at the Parkinson Rec Center here. Yeah, smash them. Oh, use a wiffle ball to play pickleball. All right, I get it. Yeah, what kind of thing? I uh, right. I've, hey, look. Oh, go ahead, Brad. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What? This is like a, it's a bunch of video pickleball. It's like. You play like so. It's like half a tennis court. Yeah, it's like yep. you're playing half of, half of a tennis court, and you you got a wiffle ball and these weird little rackets, and you're so you're like hitting it, and it has to bounce. It's got to bounce. It's got to bounce hit the ground. once, right? Yeah. So it's like so. I mean, it is a perfect. I think sport unless for a lot of there's like a forward people, line, and is. if your foot's on that forward line, I think you can smash oh, it dude, out of the air. That's nuts. all the. F- I could see that getting the way out. All of the fire department fast, guys like fucking them. play it. They bring the fucking fire trucks out of the bay, and they set up a little net and play it. They'll play it all day. Oh yeah. really? Oh, we see them as I we mean, drive I mean, by. You can play it work anywhere all day. Yeah, <laughs> fucking, like, it's just kind of. Wait, do you serve? Do you serve from the back line? I know you serve from the front line. I think, and it's. I don't know if you said know. I've never I actually played honestly, it. I, it looks I'm going to get into it this summer. I'm telling you. I'm I'm going to drop way too much money on a racket because that's the kind of person I hey, am. We got a pickleball top of the store top here, line. buddy. <clears throat> we do pickleball depot. Yeah, you should come. Full store Why dedicated to pickleball. I mean, what's the guy's name? Who owns it? I don't know. Oh, no, whatever, you serve you oh, whatever, whatever his name line. is. It should oh, have been pickle, like pickleball. It's dill. His name is Dill. Whatever it is different. Pickle Dills. Right? That's what it should have been. Yeah. But what were you going to say, Andrew? I was going to fucking, we're talking about being oh. old washed up bums. I fucking, I fought on Sunday. My first like real fight since I was like fucking a teenager. Like a, in, like on the street? No, no, like competition, like boxing. Wait, it just, it just looks, now it just looks like tennis with a wiffle ball. Huh? Like I thought it was like you put like the like the court had like a special layout that kind of made sense, but I'm like no, it's, it's a like tennis a mini, court. It's, so. it's like you just like cut it tennis. in half, basically. right? No, no, no. Because uh, like looking at it, you know, like it's got it's a tennis court, but it's got like in the middle, it's just like a solid box. It's not like split down the middle in the the thing. So yeah, now, yeah, it's I didn't like, think it was. No, nah, it's weird. I mm-hmm. pickleball is like its own court layout. I'll give you guys an update. It just looks like it just looks like tennis with a wiffle ball. It's ping pong. Play my first. Once I play my first, my first ping pong for giants. Who'd you? But yeah. <laughs> who'd you do you fight like a twelve round twelve round fight like twelve legit? rounds? Amateur boxing is only three two minute rounds, pal. I could not do twelve rounds oh, if you paid a... me millions of dollars. How'd it go? Millions. How'd it go? We're Your good. Nose isn't. And we're good. I won all three rounds. You know? Judges, you leave, did you did you leave it in the judges' hands? Well, well, yeah, I didn't stop the guy. That's not in my fucking Rookie wheelhouse mistake. anymore. You never leave it in the judges' hands. Well, I, I, I did and I won, so that's a fucking bonus. <laughs> bonus, but oh really? Yeah. The guys, he so was like a, he, he was like a fucking pro Muay Thai guy. So he was, I don't know. It, the matchup was pretty good. What? I was not, I was pretty fortunate. Was he throwing his knee ups? You could see he time? wanted to. Like when Dude. we're, when you watch a video, like there was somebody filmed the rounds and you could see like, he was kind of like trying to do that, but he like, he'd like come at me square like this. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> walk right into my jam Muay Thai style. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> 
I, I, I thought I said, didn't I send you the highlights? I don't think so. Oh. I'll send them you to sent you. me some sparring. No, that was probably it. It was. Okay. A hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.